Good morning, everybody. Um, check this out. It's like a winter wonderland out here. Everything is frozen. How crazy is this? Woke up at um, just after six this morning, having a freak out. I knew it was going to be cold. It was saying it was getting down to negative one overnight. And I woke up at six and checked the weather and it, sure enough, negative one feels like negative 4.9 i'm like oh my god okay maybe i should get up and check on the piglets um yeah did a little welfare check with everybody actually piglets were fine mama's doing Tina is such a good mom she um really she knows how to look after her babies she's doing great look at this yeah and um yeah, hung out with the goats for a bit. Um, turns out that Molly and um, Billy, the new arrivals here, uh, had a friend during the night. Taylor, one of the other goats, just one, had come down and was hanging out with them. Check this out. This is cool. Wow. So crazy. All right, I'm going to let the ducks out and then we'll go check on everyone now. See how everyone everyone's doing. See you on. See how it's really cold. My um, my mouth is actually freezing up a little bit. Ooh, frosty. All right, be back in a sec. Had a check on these guys too in the morning. There's my beautiful little Esme. She loves hanging out in her house. Absolutely loves it. Hi, Lady Eleanor. Hi, Ellie. These twins are becoming so much fun. And can you see? I don't know, can you, can you see Tilly? She's in her house. Morning, Tilly. Hey, Lady Violet. Hey, beautiful. Oh, my hands are actually going to freeze off. Tilly. <coughs> yes, I know. It's, everything's coming soon. Oh, my goodness. Tilly. She's like, not too cold. Way too cold to get out of her bed. You can't see her. She's in there. I'll be back, guys. Little jady bug. And little Toppy. Yeah, they really have come a long way. They didn't really like us touching them before. Such mama's kids, you know. You've done a good job, Violet. Very healthy babies. Oh. And no. <laughs> I'm not objecting in the slightest because that's warm. Anyway, I'll, I'll go check on a few others. Back soon. Okay, I can't. Yeah, look, I, it's just, um, it's quite cool, incredible. Because I haven't seen it before. Well, good morning, Ollie. His water's all frozen over. Good morning, Ollie boy. How did you sleep, handsome? Hello, beautiful. We've actually booked him next Thursday in to get his tusks trimmed because um, that needs to happen before we introduce him to others. Um, they're pretty sharp. So everyone needs to wish us luck. Wish Ollie luck that it all um, it happens. Things don't go pear-shaped and it doesn't happen. <coughs> oh. Alfie's still sleeping. He did have a blanket on, but he's kicked it off. Because you know what? Oh, because he's gotten up. and had something to eat and kicked it off. But also, yeah, we probably need to ditch these blankets in this type of weather because they get damp. Not actually ideal. Let's go say hello to the babies. I've got to go around the other way. All right. <clears throat> Morning, Bentley. I've just looked out across the paddock and I don't actually know what time it is, but the dude who's building our horse shelter is already out there in the ice. He's out there in the ice. Finishing the shelter off. That is crazy. Crazy cool. Crazy, nonetheless. Good morning, everyone. Oh, hello, my little feather friends. Good morning, Turk. Hello, handsome. Hi, everyone. Come on, love, love, love. Come on, love, love. Oh, you can do this. Good morning. Aren't they beautiful? 
All right, I'll just let the other chucky ba chookies, chooks, chicky babes out and I shall return. Just double checked and the temperature is negative 1.4. Good morning, Porsche and Dozer. Good morning, little goaties. Hi. Hey, Molly. Hi, Billy. Billy, hi. You don't have Taylor with you right now? No, the two goaties are back together. Good morning, Geraldine. Hi, Jez. Looks like you slept pretty well. Yep, here they come. Hey, Nucky. Hi, Harley. Oh, just jumping out of their fresh straw. Making sure this is what we're, you know, this is what we're raising funds for. Making sure we've got plenty. Good morning, Harley. Hi, Harley. Hello. Making sure they have plenty of straw to keep warm. Because they, you know, pigs, they don't just... They need a bed. They need to actually like make a full blanket fortress for themselves out of straw to sleep in. Good morning. That's a good stretch, Nucky. Hello, Mr. Strawface. You look very pretty. Geraldine, lovely as always. Yeah, glad you. <laughs> morning grumbles. Pumpkin's obviously off oh, there. Was she is? I was going to say still in bed. Morning, pumpkin. Don't know what induced her to just leap out of bed. Morning, pumpkin. Oh. Hello, Billy. Hi, Molly. Oh, grumpy pumpkin. Making her morning grumpy rounds. Hey, beautiful. Hey, sweetie. Whew. Frosty. So frosty. The grass is crunching underneath my feet. Can you see the horse shelter? It's, almost, it's going to be finished today. It only started yesterday. Really cool. We're hoping, hoping, <laughs> by the end of the week, cows and horses will come here. <clears throat> Can you see them out there? Sheepies and goaties. Yeah, a pretty special morning. So I'm very lucky for the animals here who have nice, you know, shelters, who have lots of warm hay, who have people who care about them that get up and check and make sure everyone's okay because they're loved and they have value. You know, they are beautiful family members here. And I can't get help but feel really sad thinking about all the, the little lambs that might have been born this morning on this ice with no shelter, you know, just in a paddock. And how many of them would not have made it through the night? It's actually, it's really, really sad. It's, you know, all the animals out there that don't have shelter that are just standing or sitting in the ice. No fluffy, fur, you know, hay straw beds for them. It's, um, yeah, really sad. Anyway, not to end the morning on a, on a dismal note. It's time to go inside and have coffee and some brekkie and defrost my face and get to work. What do you reckon, Porsche? These two are so cute. They sleep belly to belly. They keep each other very warm. Wow. Hi, Patrick. Patrick's a bit sad, aren't you? Because he's he normally sleeps with Nina. Hey, guys. I'll be back in a bit, okay? Just chill. Be cool. Alright, time to get the lammies ready for their morning bottle feeds. But first we had to put everybody in their jackets. So at the moment the lammies are still sleeping in the house. Especially when it gets so cold overnight. Excuse me, boobies. But I just wanted to showcase, hi guys, these beautiful little jackets that my friends Nat and Karen knitted and handmade specifically for the lammies. They've actually sent a whole, whoop, a whole lot of different stuff. They're absolutely beautiful and we love them. What do you think? We've got Junibug in her pink in her pink rug. And we have, who have we got here? We've got Frankie in his very, yeah, it's very, very cool um, in his rug. And then we've got Dobby in the knit and little Dodger in the knitted rugs. So they're gonna keep warm today. What do you guys think? What do you think? Oh, they love it. Don't you love it? Yes, hi guys. 
Do you think it's <laughs> Do you think it's time for a bottle? What do you reckon? No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Getting really sick of this because <laughs> I'm not. Man, what a wonderful winter's day! I'm just out here checking on the fencing. You guys have loved it today. Just hanging out in the sun at the sheep. Really interesting, the two new goats, Billy and Molly, are spending so much time, as you can see there, these guys at the front, so much time hanging out near like the gate and the front fence. And the other goats and sheep, uh, I suppose, are bullied by the, by the pigs, but these guys don't really care and what's happening is the other guys are starting to slowly work their way in. I think it's a takeover. The sheep and goats are about to take over the front paddock. Keep me posted. Very interesting. <laughs>